So you want to create manga or comics but you don't have any materials? This is how you can create pages using exclusively your phone. What you want to do is go on the App Store or Android or iOS, it doesn't matter. And you want to install Ibis Paint X. And as you can see, it's tailored specifically for manga and anime. But you can use it for webtoons or comics or anything. And there's a paid version, but for now we're just going to use the free version. And I've already installed it, so let me open it up. So you hit the plus button and you can have different page sizes. You can have, I use 5 inches by 7.5 inches. And if you're creating a webtoon, you can create a longer page size for the webtoon format. For comic book pages, you can create bigger pages. But keep in mind that the larger the pages, the larger the file size is. So it'll take up more space on your device. And as for device, as I say, you only need your phone. Ideally, you should be using a tablet and a stylus for you have more room and able to draw. I'm using an iPad with an Apple Pencil. But if you're just using your phone and your finger, that's the bare minimum you need to create it. So I'm going to create a page. The most useful tool in the app is the frame divider tool. And with the frame divider tool, you can break up different frames at different sizes. The only problem with it is that the diagonal frames, the diagonal frames look very digitalized, but you can go back over with it with a pen tool and with a ruler. So that's not much of a problem. Here's a time lapse footage of me creating a page. Ideally, you want to create the storyboard and the script before you start drawing. If you want to see the whole process from outline to script to storyboard to final page, then comment down below and I'll create the full process video. But for now, I'm just showing you my how I went from sketch layer to final inking layer. And there's not much I can say now, I'll just let you watch the time lapse.
Now that the final line work is done, now there is to add the finishing touches. You probably want to use the magic wand tool to delete all the scratches outside of the panels, which would probably be helpful. And as for word bubbles and text, if you go to the assets up here, you can see the different word bubbles. You have different textures and backgrounds. There's also word bubbles that come with it and thought bubbles in different type shapes and sizes. Ideally, you should probably create your own and draw it yourself so you can have the right shape and size. But these come with the app, these resources. And as for text, you go here to the text tool. And to get the manga style text or the comic style text, you should hit this plus up here and go and download the specific ones that you're looking for so that you can add it. And I just added text text as a placeholder text for whatever you want to put. But that's entirely the whole process as you can see. You just do that and you can just create it over and over until you have all your pages done and upload it to your specific webtoon site or create a different comic book or whatever. And if you want to see that part of the process or the other parts of the process, comment down below and I'll create a video about it. I'm actually planning on making videos about different parts of the process and analyzing other comic books and manga. So if you're interested in videos like that, feel free to subscribe and see you in the next video.